All right, guys, the birds are chirping. The sun is just coming up. It's an early morning here and just kind of last minute, gonna, gonna go down to Whiteland, uh, which is kind of how most of our Whiteland trips come about, last minute. Uh, got Dad as my co-pilot. It's just gonna be me racing today. So we're traveling super lightweight and um, they've got a new layout there at, at uh, Whiteland. So it's gonna be interesting to see if I can be any better. Um, it's hard to imagine I'll be much worse than before and uh, we're gonna see what I can do there. So hopefully you guys can see me now that I get in the truck. So let's see how this goes. tell you Whiteland's done some big things like this place is nice expanded out the track big time track smooth so we don't have to bring like the old cart because we're worried about it the cart snapping from all the bumps so it's supposed to be nice and smooth and uh, props to them and so right now heading up for the drivers meeting and then one practice session and jump right into it. So expect mediocrity here, guys. Hey, good morning. On an unusual morning walk here, uh, Casey decided that he wanted to take our weekend off from Newcastle Motor Sports Park and come down here to uh, the newly renovated Whiteland Raceway Park. And what a nice job the O'Garas did. The, the parking lot is just spectacular. But as I was preparing for this morning walk, and it was done on short notice, which the quality, you probably won't be able to tell much difference, but I was thinking about my job. I deal with cybersecurity, you know, phishing messages and what's real. And we've got stuff called deep fake technology uh, coming up where you, you won't be able to tell the difference between a true video and a fabricated video and the same with you know like voice messages and stuff like that and we're not going to know uh what's real and what's not after a while and i as i was uh thinking about that this morning i thought that you know i got home last night and casey didn't get over to the house until about 11 o'clock and we didn't get done with the carting uh, preparation until about midnight and then I was up at 550 this morning and you guys know I love go-karting but would you say my enthusiasm for today on five and a half hours of sleep is real or is it fabricated I'll leave that up to you guys always good to be at the go-kart track the first and only practice is in the books um, my driving was pretty terrible. Cart needed a little more front grip, and uh, so I made that change. Try to fix the driving here in qualifying. But if, based on the times, at least for the people that showed times, um, I was fast in the class, fastest in the class. But I think that's a false sense of security right there because I'm confident there's guys that were not running their their transponder that. That didn't register time so i'm not putting a lot of hope in being the fastest but um just figure this thing out it felt good track is interesting it's it's fast and tight um so i don't know it's 
it's challenging and uh, it's gonna be a fun day. Well, guys, uh, this is a shocker. I got pulled right there, sliding over. Hopefully it shows on the camera, but between me and second place is two one thousandths. So that's Adam in, in second. And then our boy Matt Geist is in third, just three hundredths off that. And then basically the top the top five, the top four, real close top fives right there too. Like it's uh it's gonna be close. Okay, here is my qualifying, the lap I set pole. Give you a feel for the layout we were running that day. So this section, it's flat out for these two corners. There's a little break zone right there. Important to keep the rolling speed high because it's all flat out from here until the next hairpin. And so uh, this is pretty important to be carrying top speed. The old bank corner, so cool to do. This hairpin was so much fun. I mean, the cart was just hooked up for it. Uh, right here was my arch nemesis. I spent a lot more time off track than I did on track, but I uh, managed to keep it there and get pole. So Casey strung together a really good lap on qualifying. <laughs> he wasn't the most consistent. He was uh, half a second off his pole time until the last lap. So um, not being familiar with the track, I think he predicted it. I wouldn't be surprised if he learns a little little bit from the guys that have been here before. But you know what? <laughs> Casey will make him earn it, so I'm hoping for the best. Starting from pull here and sitting in the cart, I just knew I was a little out of place because uh, I didn't even know their starting procedures. Um, but, you know, you fake it till you make it. And so here... Um, I could tell Adam was eager because he's on the outside. I think he wanted a higher starting speed. And so I'm just kind of forcing the field to slow down here because being on the inside, I think I wanted the, wanted a slower start here. So um, right here, I'm going to gun it and it's pretty even start. Um, and so it'll work out well for me going in here. I slot into first and uh, that it's a six lap pre-final. So it's pretty short. And I stay in the lead for a handful of laps. And just, uh, there was some good, there was some ugly stuff too, just driving wise, like just inconsistency. I mean, I had only had, I don't know, maybe 10 laps on the track to this point. So like, I was still learning each time out. Here's my arch nemesis that I told you about, nearly sent it off track there. So here... Facing backwards towards the end of the race, you can see I have a, a pretty decent gap on Matt there, who's in second. Um, but what I really like is this view coming up. So we're going to go through the little like chicane type deal or whatever, and then here into the bank corner, and it just looks awesome on the backwards facing camera, the angle of it. Then here's the hairpin. And you can see my gap is gone because I just entered that corner so shallow. And right there, just sealed my fate man I had it I had that and I threw it away Matt's gonna get a run on me here I'm gonna kind of squeeze him a little bit but leave him enough room and he does a great job right there making it stick on the outside carries it carries it on around takes the lead so this is the white flag riding in second here behind Matt and just get caught off guard this is the first time i'm following matt through this corner and i expected i guess something totally different and he went far faster than i expected him to carried way more speed i had checked up and uh, that that's going to put me in a spot to defend here into this hairpin because adam's going to take a peek so we're going to go through these next couple corners battling it out and i'm able to just barely squeak it out and finish in second As expected, I did come back from uh, Whiteland Raceway Park Racing School. Uh, led a good chunk of that race, at least half of it. And then uh, Matt showed me what was up and uh, fell into second. Had some good battle with, uh, with Adam, who was in third. And just need a little bit more. Need a little bit more out there. But cart felt good. 
I just got to find a couple corners. I got to find my line a little better. Uh, next race, so the, the pre-final was six laps. The next one's like 15 laps. So it's going to be substantially different. And the uh, only change I'm going to make is the gear. I'm going to drop one more tooth. Hopefully I don't regret it. But it seems like the right thing to do. And uh, just there's really just one passing zone. And that will hopefully help me with that passing zone. So one change send it and uh, love to come away with some hardware really the main hardware that gold medal would be pretty sweet wait do they give trophies here I don't know do they give trophies for first places first places it's all medals it's all medals dang it it's all medals okay never mind no trophies but going for that medal okay give a little thumbs up there to Matt and first but he's all business and uh, didn't see it and he's literally he's all business you can't tell but his shoes are these brown leather they look just like work shoes it's it's hilarious and so uh he matt's starting on pole i'm starting second and you can tell i don't know what i'm doing i'm in the wrong lane right there like that wasn't the actual lane <laughs> so just totally clueless here um and, and it just shows throughout this race so matt and and adam both get by me here and then burpo uh, comes up alongside me and I kind of decided well it's either I make this stick or I'm going into the wall up here and, and Burpo was uh, he let me off the hook he backed off a little bit and um, kept me from probably sending myself into the wall so here I slot back into third and really guys like I, I was a third place cart um, I would catch back up to them when they would fight but on raw pace I just didn't have it and you'll see right here I just Ah, that corner man that's where most of it was at that's just more times than not uh it would just be a bad corner which sets onto a long straight so that's not ideal um here we go gonna be i caught back up because again they were fighting and so i uh i'm gonna take a peek here at adam but i didn't commit to it and uh backed out so um, just mostly inexperience. I didn't know what the limits were um, here. <laughs> so they're fighting. Again, lets me catch up. And I, it looks, if you look at this video, it looks like I was intentionally trying to take Matt out. Man, that was just good job to Matt for keeping that under control because that was just dumb. I was bumping him through the corner, like on, the, on his corner. Like, it was just dumb. Uh, here we go. They're, again, fighting. And I'm going to pull up alongside Adam here. But once again, I don't know the limits. I, I know I saw Matt do it, like make a stick on the outside. So I know it could be done, but I didn't know the limits of the track. So I didn't feel comfortable doing it. And you can see there, I got gapped again. But they fight and it lets me back into it. And um, I'm like, hey guys, I'm, I'm here to play again, right? No, nope, nope. This was a two kart race that I would just some kind of sometimes just join for a minute to spectate um, here uh, I believe this is the last lap Adam makes a move for the lead stays there and I left this in because I just I love seeing people's reaction when they win and and so there's Adam's reaction when he wins fun race hey, we are rolling out of Whiteland here big shout out to this guy coming out to support me and family coming out um, this is a good day. Um, walking away, the little plaque, kind of cool that they do that. Um, honestly, it was the first time I've been even in the conversation out here at Whiteland, so so I'm happy with it, and I'll take it. I mean, the competitive side of me, um, one of those last two spots, but realistically, I mean, it's better than I think I should have, I could have hoped for, really. So um, happy with it fun day at Whiteland they've done a lot of good things with it I know it's still a work in progress they're still making other improvements but uh, it was a good day and thank you out there to all the fellow racers it was a good fun clean race and uh, won't be my last time out there it's you, it's you.